Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how I import an existing resource in AWS uh, account in AWS console that is not associated to any cloud formation stack to a stack. So there is a there is this function AWS function test lambda. It's not associated to any stack. It has imagine it has been created manually, but you want to import it as part of your stack and then you want to continue using it as part of that stack instead of having it alone uh, as a I mean a standalone resource so this is the YAML file I created for my stack um, I just included this test lambda resource and the tricky part here is you should make sure that everything you include as a definition of properties are the same as what you have already so it can recognize uh, that you are trying to uh, import that existing one so if you change even a small piece of it it will uh, detect it as a chain and it's not recognizing that existing resource so uh, as I said, everything is what I ha already have there. The function name should be the same. The the uh, zip file or, or the, anything that you are uh, pointing to the code, it should be the same and so on and so forth. So this deletion policy is important when you want to import uh, resources to the stack. It, it is required. So I chose to be retained, which means if I delete the stack, the resource uh, still will be there. So if you go to the cloud formation and stacks in the AWS console uh, and click on create a stack, there is an option uh, with existing resources, which has import resources. So that this is exactly what we want to use today. And there are a couple of steps here, as you can see, import overview, specify template, identify resources, specify stack details and import overview. So. The first step is to uh, specify template. So uh, the same template that I showed you, uh, I just choose it as a file. Uh, so that would be my template here. And then it says identify resources. Uh, you should uh, provide the identifier value for your resource. And I added the function name as identifier, this lambda. And then you, you should give uh, your stack a name. I just gave it test import. And at the end, if everything is good, there is no error and uh, nothing bad, then it, it will show you this, the kind of overview that this is logical ID identifier type. And then as you can see, the action is import. Again, uh, logical ID identifier and resource type and if you click on the import resources you can see that uh, it, the review in progress it's user initiated then uh, import in progress and resource import completed and that's uh, that's it I mean if you see update complete for the lambda and import complete for the a stack then uh, the action is complete the process is complete and everything is successful so the next step I want to show you if you want to do this through the uh, command line uh, how you can do that oh before that I uh, also went to the resource tab here to show you that you can find that association now to your uh, stack and see that uh, under your stack the resources that lambda is part of the resources for that stack so this is a command line you should run aws cloud formation create change set then you give a stack name you give some name for the change set name and for the resources to import you should give a, a txt file and as you can see the format of the txt file is something like this it is a, a array of json and that JSON has the three properties resource type as you can see for me it's lambda function logical resource ID it should be the same as what you have in your template in your cloud formation template and then function name for me test lambda resource identifier and this demo YAML it's uh, our uh, 
uh, template body uh, as you can see as part of the command you should give template body and give the file to that yaml as well uh, for me as you can see i'm giving demo.yaml and this is the content of that file and again if everything is successful you will get this id and a stack id which means it created the change set for you and change change set type should be uh, important i'm not sure if i think it is required to define the change set type import so uh, now it that command in, that command is just uh, defining the change set for you it, now you should run this describe chain set to see the changes that it wants to run for you so it is giving you the action logical physical resource type and so on and so forth so it is kind of giving you this opportunity to overview all of this information and see if everything looks good to you uh, and if it again if it is successful the status is create complete uh, and the execution is available so you can execute uh, this change set in the next step and it says that verify that resources and their property defining the template match the intended configuration of the resource import to avoid unexpected changes so this is uh, looking good this is ready to be executed just before executing i just wanted to show you at this point if you look at your console you will see that it creates this stack for you and the status it is review in progress so it's not a starting importing until you execute the change set and using this command if you run this uh, execute change set change set name and give the name and a stack name then you will see that the process is uh, starting and then import complete update complete and finally import complete again if you go to the resources tab you should you should see the association between the resource and your stack um, and that's it that is it just uh, i just wanted to show you that one time that i ran and i got an error for the change set how it looked it says execution status is unavailable the status is failed and the status reason was resource type serverless function are not supported for import so um, it was kind of i was trying to import the serverless function and this message is uh, kind of explaining that that's not supported uh, this action is not supported supporting the serverless function uh, that's all thank you for watching